Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1. Today we're going to go over exporting and archiving a course within Blackboard. Now what we need to do is get to our export archive screen. The way you'll do that is go to your control panel, select package and utilities, and from the drop down export and archive course. Once you're in the export archive course, you're going to have two options, either export or archive. Now export will take out all the materials from your course and save it into a zip file so that it can later be uploaded into a new course for your next semester. Now archive will do the exact same thing except it will also hold on to the enrollments and all the settings for those enrollments for that course. Now you don't have to elect to bring that back when you bring it into the next course but it's always there. It's kind of like a complete archive of your course. The only real big difference is then that the archive is going to be a little bit more and how much uh, the size of that file is going to be when we export it out. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use the export button. And we're going to export this course. You'll see in this first uh, category here that it's just telling us what course that we're about to export. Then in the course files, it's going to give you some management tools here. We really don't need to even touch those. The ones that we're going to be concerned with are in category 3. What we want to do is select the specific areas that we'd like to package up and archive or export for this course. Okay, and once we select those, what we're going to do is hit submit, and it's going to let us know that this action has been queued, and an email is going to be sent to you when everything is packaged up. So what we're doing right now is waiting for that package to actually uh, get put together in a zip file in the back end. So what it's going to do, it's going to show up as a link here in this menu, and we'll be able to download it and save the file. So to be able to see that, we're going to have to refresh the screen, and then we'll be able to see that file come into play here. So I like to hit this little refresh button on our content menu, and there it goes. There's our link. We can go ahead and click it, and the Open and Save dialog box opens. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my computer. Okay, once you have that file saved, then you can go ahead and move that file anywhere you want on your computer. Save it there. Just leave it in the zip file. There's no need to uncompress it or anything. The file will be uncompressed when it's brought back into Blackboard itself. And this concludes this tutorial for Blackboard 9.1.